So this is a review of Weblium. Weblium builds itself as being an easy to use website builder. And I decided to take a first look at Weblium and see if it stacks up and you know if it's any good as an easy to use website builder for either people who are building their websites for the first time or people who just need to get a website done really quickly. And I can tell you, little teaser, um, I was actually pretty impressed with Weblium. It's got a lot of features that I like. Uh, a couple things I didn't, but let's go ahead and dive in and check it out. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you guys find the best and easiest ways of building great looking websites. If you guys are interested in trying out Weblium for yourself, I'll include a link to the free trial down below. And if you decide to get Weblium, that link will also help to support this channel and the tests and the free tutorials that I provide. So I thank you guys for your support. And if you're interested in knowing what my top recommended website builders are, I'll link to that in the description below and at the top of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at Weblium here. So this is the website that I built with Weblium. And what I've been doing is I've been building this portfolio website kind of showing off my photography and getting a feel for all of these different website builders so I can tell you guys what I think are the best website builders for different situations. So as you can see here, it's a pretty nice looking page. I built this sort of case studies page. And I found it, you know, relatively easy to use this website builder. I had a couple of hangups, but I think, you know, whenever you're learning a new product, um, you're going to find that. I did like that uh, for the portfolio module that they have that you can add to your web page, you get some different styles. So we've got this style here where we've got a big image on the left and two little images, and it kind of continues in that sort of pattern down here. We've got just sort of a uh, standard layout here with just, you know, sort of grid images, which works really well for these images because they're all kind of square images anyways. And then we've got this kind of like masonry grid layout here. So, you know, three different styles, and I think that they're all pretty good looking. And there's definitely some more styles that you can add if you're interested in building a portfolio. And also, you know, I found that if you're interested in building a restaurant website, um, they've got this cool restaurant layout here that I like. I didn't see too many different options for it. I think this is pretty much what you get. But one thing that I noticed that I really liked about this layout was that, you know, you've got the title of your item, the price, and you even got this little icon here for, you know, spicy. I found one, a broccoli icon that you could use for vegetarian, and there's a couple different options. You could use this leaf, um, a couple of different gluten-free symbols. So that's kind of a nice feature. And I definitely think that, you know, for restaurants out there, you should have as much information about, you know, food and food allergies as possible, because when people are making their purchasing decisions when they're visiting your website, they're looking for that information. So that's kind of a, a neat thing that they add right in there. Uh, the other thing about Weblium too is that it is a responsive builder and so you get these uh, buttons here at the top where you can toggle between the different size devices. So here's you know what your website would look like on a tablet, here's what it would look like on a phone. And it sets up those looks and styles for you all by itself. You don't have to do any tweaking really or anything um, and it just seems to pretty much work. Uh, I did make a couple of tweaks and I'll show you that on the home page when we look into building and how the builder works. One of the things that I like about Weblium is that um, they do offer some different templates as starting points, but it seems that uh, from my tests, you pretty much have control over designing and setting up your site any way you want to. So the templates are really just starting places, um, but you have full access to all the controls. So you can really control and style your site without having to be dependent on what the template is. For example, here in the header, you've got various different controls. You can add a button if you want to that pops up up there. You can add a second button. You can add your social media icons, which are already there. You can choose to make the header sticky, which means that it'll stay with you as you scroll down. Change the background. You can add animation, just lots of different settings. And if you want to add a new block, you get these great starting points here. So here we've got you know some about page starting points that you can choose from. We've got what they call the first screen, so kind of like the splash area, the first section of a web page. Um, we've got all of these different options, and then we've got you know more specific options like here's contacts with the map functionality. But yeah, just I mean just generally a lot of great starting points that you can drag in and then start editing. And you can also just start with a custom block here, and let's just do that and see what that looks like. So you had a custom block. Uh, one of the things that I really like in a couple of the easy to use website builders and that they have in Weblium here is that if you decide to change 
the background color or change the background image, the text automatically changes for you. So you're not, you know, wrangling around changing a bunch of text to get it the color you want. You can just, you know, in a moment's notice decide, hey, I want the background to be color to be black or white or whatever. So um, a lot of great options there. When you want to add new content, you just click the plus icon down below the content that you want, and you get all of these different content starting points. So you know, some really great options. You know, I just added this three checkbox things. And as with most website builders, if you want to make two columns, you just kind of drag that element over. It doesn't always work first time. Let's see here. Come on. I guess, OK. Yeah, so this is one thing that's kind of the case with almost all the website builders that I have tried is this sort of fiddliness of trying to get things to move where you want them to. Let's just, OK, so I'm going to just add another column using the side column thing. Let's see if we can drag these. OK, there we go. So that's all you got to do is just create a new column on the side there and then drag these items over. I'm not too sure why this arrow isn't working and this one is, probably because this one here is for the individual item. So it's one of the things with almost all of these kind of front end, what you see is what you get builders. Um, it's, there's some fidgetiness, and I found it a little bit more in this than others, um, but this is definitely par for the course for this style of builder. One of the other things that um, definitely checks, t checks my tick box for things that I like is this site style button up here, uh, where you get some pre-designed palettes that they've come up with, but you also have full control to edit and create your own palettes. And this is what decides when you add text in and a background in. If you choose a black background, it's automatically going to go to the light shade and vice versa. And then you can have sort of like your base main color. So I picked red because that's the color that I'm going for with this photography website. And then you've got a couple of additional accent colors that you can add in. Uh, and you can do the same with text. Um, they've got a, a whole section of text pairings that you can have. But if you don't like those pairings, you can actually go through um, and click Edit. And then you can decide which font you want for every heading type. I think that's a really great feature to have in an easy to use website builder. It gives you the easy controls. It says, hey, here are some pre made color palettes for you to use. Go ahead and plug those in. Here's some pre made text pairings for you to use. Go ahead and just start using those. But if you know what you want, you can go in and make those edits and decide those things for yourself, and they automatically start applying. And even when you go into, say, the text here, and you want to change the colors, um, your default color palette shows up right in there, ready to be used. These kind of little things are real time savers when you're building your website. And it makes sure that your website and your colors are consistent across your entire website. So I really appreciate things like that. And I appreciate the fact that you know if I want to, if I want to go crazy and make this yellow, I can hit custom color here, pick a crazy you know yellow green color, and change my text to that, uh, no problem at all. So it's that. It's kind of that nice balance between being helpful, allows me to have some control over what I want the design to be. Another feature that I really like about the builder is how you can adjust the blocks and their positioning. If you click on the side button here, you get sort of the zoomed out view of your entire page, and then you can drag different items across and move them to where you want them. And you just have to close this window, and now you've got your layout modified and set up. And I really like having that sort of zoomed out view to help you do that. So what's nice about Weblim is it does offer a blog functionality. You can see it here. Oh, there's a couple different layouts that you can choose from with this blog functionality. Weblim is not a tool that you're going to use, though, to build a very blog-focused business. So if you're trying to become a blogger, or if you're heavily using blogging to market your business, uh, Weblium isn't going to be a good choice. But if you just do light blogging to market your business, or you want to be able to add things here and there, and you just want one easy-to-use blog stream, uh, Weblium does give you that option. And that's kind of a nice feature to have in a website builder that's this easy to use. Um, another thing that I found actually extraordinary about Weblium, and it's something I never expect from website building companies to offer, is near instantaneous, I don't want to say instantaneous support, but support within minutes. They've got this little chat button down here. Um, I had a couple of issues where I had some problems, and I was able to you know, get help. And I think I waited five or 10 minutes to get somebody to help me. And maybe it was just uh, good timing, but I tried it on two different days. I had sort of the same interaction. And I got some fantastic support, too. Um, I couldn't figure out how to modify something, so they made this little video, and they 
sent it over to me to show me like how I you know how I line up the button because I couldn't figure out how to do that. Uh, so I asked a couple of you know sort of basic questions and I got some great answers and it really helped me and it didn't I wasn't waiting hours or you know like a day later like you do with a lot of other website building companies. So I really definitely appreciated that and I hope that they're able to keep that level of support up because that is a fantastic feature, especially if you're in a hurry, you're trying to get your website built. Um, and something's hanging you up, you don't want to wait, you know, a day or several hours later to get back to working. You want to be able to just get back to working. And so, you know, in my experience, I was able to do it in about 10 minutes. They were able to solve my problem and help me out. And that's incredible. So definitely something I uh, think is awesome about Weblium and something I hope that they can keep up in the future. So um, well, I was talking earlier about sort of tweaking things for mobile phone. And I didn't really tweak this for mobile phone, but one thing that I really liked about the column setups is that if you click on, let's see here, if I can remember where it is, you get these alignment functionalities. So here for these columns, I can align this column to center. So then when we look at the preview here for this, you'll see that in the tablet view, um, I've got my third item here smack dab in the center. Instead of normally, it would just be off over to the left-hand side. So that's something that I really liked. And I found that you can do the same thing with images. Um, you can either have images left or right justified. You can also have them centered. And the same thing with text pieces. So having all of those levels of control really easy to access is an extremely nice feature. So I think that my first impressions of Weblium are, this is definitely a website builder to check out if you need to create a business website super easily. Um, I think it's got a lot of great features. Could even be a good tool for building a portfolio website with those different gallery page module designs. One thing to note on the gallery page that if you are gonna be trying to make a portfolio website is that they have some blocks that you can add, um, these gallery blocks. And I didn't like the way that they worked. I found that it was easier to add a gallery module myself because somehow these blocks didn't seem to be actual, like an actual gallery module. They were, they seem to be individual items added to the page. Whereas if you add a gallery module and have, add, have a folder with all of your images in, you can just select them all and upload them. With this gallery block that you can add, you have to add each item individually. And it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it won't take you too long, but it's kind of nice to have that just swoop all in one, just add everything in. So that's one thing to note on that. Okay, so my final first thoughts on Weblium are, if you wanna build an easy, business website with a tool that offers a nice blend of being easy to use as well as giving you some level of additional controls like uh, color style controls, a nice level of control over the layout of your sections and pages. Um, I think that Weblium is definitely worth a look and it's something I'm going to be looking into further. And it might even be a contender for one of my top easy to use website builders. We'll have to see when I create that final video. But I definitely think if you're looking for an easy to use website builder for building a business website, I think that you should definitely check out Weblium. Um, right now, the uses that I see are like restaurant website, local small business website. If you just need a basic portfolio or a basic personal website, uh, Weblium could be a really great choice. They're gonna keep on testing these website builders, keep looking into them. So if you're interested in finding out what the best website builders are and you wanna see different quick reviews of them, definitely be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for my top recommendation video, when I have it ready, I'll include that in the link below. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Weblium if you have your own experiences with it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.